What's up, everybody? Welcome to Out of Old. I'm your host, Naughty Dose, and today I will be talking about the Lego Batman movie. So, like all my movie reviews, I'm gonna do a uh, spoiler warning because I'm going to be talking about stuff in the movie. So, if you haven't seen it yet, go see it. It's awesome. And so, with that spoiler warning out of the way, here we go. So, this movie was amazing. It was incredible. Uh, my roommate invited me to see it on a whim, and when we did, it was just absolutely phenomenal. We loved every, every bit of it. Like, we were laughing the entire movie. But the thing about the movie is that it was also like a weird emotional roller coaster of things like at some points it'd be really really cheesy ham funny and then other times it just got like really serious and emotional and then it would switch back to cheesy funny which actually made it even funnier and like there was a scene where Batman is looking at uh, one of his family photos and stuff and he's getting all sentimental and then Alfred sneaks up behind him and he Roundhouse kicks and Batman Roundhouse kicks him into a piano. It's it's just so funny and it was followed by the intense emotional moment was just followed by this random funny moment. It was just so great and as my one uh, roommate Lights has beautifully described it, it's like a love letter to 60s Batman and really all of Batman. Because this movie encompasses a lot of old references that younger kids are likely not going to understand and get the reference and appreciate it as much as other people who grew up with this. Like, for example, they show, like, the old Adam West. They show uh, a bunch of obscure uh, Batman characters that are villains that if you actually knew about... Batman besides what's been recently shown within the last uh, 10 years and stuff that you'd actually know were real villains despite how weird they are such as like for example Condiment King who shows up and it's just like oh my gosh I can't believe they actually put him in here like they really did their research and so many things were just a gorgeous reference to Batman and all the errors that he's been in and being part of the Lego franchise, it's so great because there's a lot of things that they can get away with that otherwise they'd have to CGI or go through a lot harder of a process to do for a real person. Such as when uh, they're breaking into the Fortress of Solitude, like I said, spoilers, uh, and Robin has to go and get the Phantom Zone uh, gun, and when he does, it is incredible to see all the stuff and it only works because they're in Lego form like Batman is directing Robin and one part is that he's building a like a hoverboard but obviously he wouldn't entirely be able to do if it was a realistic movie and it gets to take so many advantages of people being Legos and making all these great references and illusions that they know that they're Legos and that they can do these things that other forms of media wouldn't let them do. Like, they make a joke about how uh, Batman can't take off his shoes because they're attached to his pants. And other sort of things. Uh, the There's a lot of references to master building, which, again, would be, pra would be really hard to do in a more realistic situation. And... It was just so great to see everything, though this movie is a lot more like an origin story of the Batman family instead of Batman himself, as Batman has already been established. This is him getting Robin, getting Batgirl, and even adding Alfred and considering him part of the team. And it's the great character development is, and the overall theme of the movie is, can Batman be happy? And ultimately... He does, but the trials that he goes through, for anyone who's gone through something similar, of losing someone and being afraid to connect, it it's really emotional and touching to be able to have a movie like this 
be able to talk about something like it and to take it seriously like even for being Legos you can see just the pain and anguish and the beautiful expressioning for all these characters despite being Legos it just feels genuine and the connections with the characters like again the other part of the movie is about Joker trying to get respect from Batman because Batman's close to nobody which means he's not even close to his villains as considering them like his main villain the entire movie is about Joker trying to get Batman's respect almost as in like this weird love hate relationship of it's almost out of literally a fanfic of trying to ship the Joker and Batman except it's about hatred Instead of them loving each other, it's about hating each other. And the Joker's trying to get Batman to hate him. And for anyone who's gone through a painful relationship, this movie also touches on that, of being in that one-sided, unrequited love, and what to do about it. Sure, you might not be able to unleash all of the Phantom Zone and destroy all of Gotham, but still, it shows just what someone will do to get attention and it's really really impactful about how they did it this movie is not really for kids like you can take your kids to see it they'll enjoy it and stuff but for the adults this is where the movie's really for and who can experience it the best like i really feel that this is the audience can really appreciate everything not only because they'll get all the references and stuff but because they'll really be able to understand the meaning and the themes behind it one of the one of the biggest scenes is the fact when the Joker surrenders again I already said spoilers that suddenly Batman loses all meaning in his life like he doesn't know what to do there's nothing for him to do and so he's now searching for a purpose but the only thing that's putting that's in his way is himself and his inability and desire to not be close to anyone and it's amazing how they did it and honestly this movie is just so so great when it comes to the emotional parts and the funny parts are amazing like the we had the entire theater laughing it was it was so great just seeing all the references them referencing old Batman movies TV shows even getting to see all characters and stuff and even getting to make uh, throw some punches at some of the other movie franchises like Batman's password to the Batcave is Iron Man sucks because the two the two are essentially similar very similar characters with rich billionaires who use super suits and don't have superpowers and uh, there's a reference to Suicide Squad and Killer Croc even makes a Killer Croc uh, arms a bomb and he even makes a comment like hey I did something As referencing about like you know how he didn't really do that much in Suicide Squad and it's it's great to see them make all these references illusions and everything about the movie is just awesome if you haven't seen it I highly recommend seeing it it is a fantastic phenomenal movie and you will enjoy every bit of it. even if you aren't entirely familiar with Batman you, the old Batman or anything you'll still be able to enjoy this and that's what's so great about it is the fact that anyone can watch it and enjoy it and that's how movies today are starting to slightly go that yeah kids can enjoy it it's fun it's colorful and stuff it's action it can keep them occupied but the adults and the older people can understand the meaning and connect to the movie and just everything about it is so great there are many jokes in there that kids aren't going to get but then the adults are just going to enjoy this movie and I as a young adult enjoyed this movie like it was the highlight of that day and 
just the greatest way to like end a week and or start a week is watching this movie and just getting to enjoy it. There are so many scenes in here that just made me laugh from literally spending two minutes watching Batman microwave lobster to getting to have a massive battle royale between Batman's rogue gallery and a bunch of supervillains and villains in general from other worlds and media to even like a line of Batman saying to Robin, we're going to punch him so hard, words describing the impact will materialize out thin air, like how the old uh, comics and everything had the bam pow splat effects. All the references are just gorgeous in this movie, and the animation is really good quality. Like, it is surprising how great movies have come when it comes to CGI and what they can animate. So... Yeah, if you haven't seen this movie, I highly, highly recommend it. It is very enjoyable, and you'll honestly enjoy it. Like, if you don't enjoy it, okay, well, maybe it's not your thing, but for most people, there is something in this movie that they will enjoy, and it is worth the price of admission. This has been Yada Volt, signing off. Peace.